Hey, good evening, YouTube. So, we got the Cool End Counter Vibe back on the bench, because if you've been following my channel as carburetor issues, this thing, in my opinion, has low compression as well, but, um, it should be enough to run. I put new rings in it, so hopefully they'll set in, and compression will at least bump up to 130 or something. I just want this thing to run good. But right now, it's the carb issue, uh, It'll starve for a bit, then die like the starving fuel. So, I was in the carb, and the diaphragms looked okay, but obviously something isn't okay. So, we're going to take this bad boy apart again. Look at the carb a little closer. Um, yeah, because this one has flatheads. Flatheads. So, how's everyone doing today? Tomorrow? Friday. For me, like I work Monday to Friday, 7.30 to 4, so I kind of like Fridays. Start of the weekend. Start of the weekend early for some PBR. Here in Canada, this is cheap here. It's only $24 for a 15 pack, which I know in the States you can get like 36 beer for that or 30 beer. We get taxed to shit out here. I was wondering, is anyone going to uh, Tazapalooza? I know I am. Uh, it's only 10 hours from Edmonton, so I'm going to make the trek. And uh, hopefully, uh, providing he's not too busy, I'm going to send a saw to the Novice Lumberjack to port. Just sometime between now and Tazapalooza. If he's going, he's just going to bring it to me. In exchange, he said if I could provide Smitty for parts to... Home light parts in case he needs extra cylinders for recording an XL76 for him. But at the same time, I know Bodie's busy, so I mean, if he can't port my saw, that's not a big deal. That's he's a busy guy. Anyway, yeah, that's a stupid thing. Yeah, I forgot this thing's a pain in the butt. Uh, and that is a Allen head. It should be the red guy that's. Somewhere in this mess, this one should work. That one does not work. Oh. Um, there we go. This one should be the right one. But yeah, I, I'm hoping the wife, end of the month's bad because uh, my wife has to do month end every, every month. So hopefully she can come because the plan is we're going to leave a little early. I want to go to Seattle and see an orangutan. It may sound weird, but I just want to see an orangutan. And the only zoo in Canada that I know of that has orangutan is in Toronto. And I would rather cut off my left testicle with a butter knife than go to Toronto. So, sorry if you're from Toronto, but that's I have no desire to go to a city that big. That's no, I, I fucking hate Toronto. Uh, but anyways, yeah. So I want to go to Seattle, Seattle Zoo. So I'll be, I think it's 12 hours to Seattle from here, and I'll be back east another hour and a half-ish to where Tazapooza is going to be. So, yeah, that's, I'm kind of excited. I really want to see an orangutan. I don't know why, I just, I, I'm fascinated by them. I, they're like little people. <laughs> Anyways, uh, so, carb on here. Okay. I hope after this I don't take this part. Um, I should drain the gas out of it because I want to check the fuel filter too. But hopefully it's not a full tank. I probably didn't put a full tank in it, so there is that. Hope for the best. Prepare for the worst. Okay. That screw out. And these definitely are not bad saw to work on. Um, someone here in Alberta has a. That was. It's a. It's a Pool and Pro 3400, and I'm not. Don't know for sure. Maybe someone can answer me this question. I think I would imagine the Pool and Pro version of this exact saw would have a chrome cylinder. So, he wants too much money. He wants two hundred bucks for it. I mean, it's, I mean it's, I'd like to have it, but you know, I like any old Pool and like the good ones. Uh, but I'm not paying two hundred bucks for one. Maybe it's worth it, maybe it's not. Funky 
choke set up in these things. Okay, we have almost had the carburetor up. I need to pinch off that fuel line, otherwise I need gas spurting all over the place. Um, we'll use that. Pinch that. Pinch the tip. Pull that off, and then find a screw to shove in the end. Okay, so this guy can just go live over here for a bit. Those screws, there's my PBR. Now, ah, oh, this stupid thing. Okay, uh, this is the only saw I've ever had that has one of these H uh, DP carbs in it. Um, I hate World War Carbs, except like the WAWT series, those are perfectly good to work on. I hate the HDAs with a passion. Sorry, HDCs with a passion. Uh, SDCs, I don't like either, because they have that stupid accelerator pump bullshit on them, and they just hard to find parts for, and pain in the ass to work on. The bigger carbs, Tilton HS, is the perfect carb for saws, you know, between 50 and 100 plus cc's, in my opinion. So easy to work on. Now, this diaphragm looks perfectly okay to me. It's nice and flexible. So, I'm rolling that out as an issue. It has no, make sure it has no tears in it actually. Oh, no tears, because that happened to my um, home light 902 AM. I, uh, I, uh, can't talk today. Um, put a new carb kit in it. It, what, it was running really funky. Pull it apart. There's a tiny little tear in the fuel pump diaphragm, which uh, was causing all sorts of problems. Swapped out, but different end, no more problems. And see, this is kind of like. I guess that's one thing I don't like about the uh, Walbro series of carbs. They got that weird circuit gasket thing under the plate in here. You know what I'm talking about? I just don't like that personally, but that's just me. Okay, so that this diaphragm is perfectly okay, so that's, again, not the problem. Let's see where that metering level is. The metering lever is exactly where it should be. So, that's, I'm going to pull these jets out, or the needles out. There's definitely something funky in here. I just don't know what. I'll probably go upstairs and rinse this with uh, hot water, because I've done that a few times, and it seems to work. And I just don't want to go back outside. It's below freezing outside. and I don't mind the winter here. Like, we have it every year, but it usually takes a couple weeks to climatize. And up until then, you're just flipping miserable about it. Okay. Now, we need a Phillips. Well, those weren't seized in, which that's a good sign. It's awfully dry in here. Like, completely dry. Hmm. Um, use this length. That's a good length. Let's go find a. Remember that work. Gotta make this into this. I want to check the little check valve in here. <laughs> check the check valve. I do that. This is a thing I learned off Leon from Leon's Chainsaw Parts right there. Is just use a piece of fuel hose and check the diaphragm. Because it should only, I can't remember if it's supposed to suck. I think you should be able to blow into it but not suck in.
the same time it gets all of its sealing wrong. So I can blow into it, it can't suck back out. So the check valve is probably fine. Why ain't you getting fuel? Check the screen. Flip is my little pick. Improvise. Improvise, adapt, overcome. And there's a speck dirt in there, but not much. This is kind of like a I don't know situation because everything seems to be okay on here. It's clear. That's clear. Huh. Could this be the fuel filter? I can't believe how dry this gasket is here. Providing it's the right gasket. I can assume it is. I can put this back together and check the fuel filter. Be back with you guys in a bit. So yeah, with this carb, um, check valves okay. Passages are, passages are clear. Diaphragms are good. I pulled up the metering level uh, lever a little bit. Maybe it's Chinese. Someone's this this stuff is so good in the carb. I imagine it's been rebuilt in the not too distant past. Like. So it's, I really don't know, <laughs> it's, uh, we'll see, I'm going to check the fuel filter after I get this back together, well, maybe before then, so we'll put this guy back together, okay, so I'll pause you guys for a bit. Welcome back, so, I'll fair idea compression test just to see, you know, what's that, and it's just a hair over 120, which by no means is, um, a great result, but should be adequate for it to run. Plus, this gauge is a little, yeah. But, uh, I'm checking the gun visually, check the fuel filter if I can, but I actually, um, when I had the carb off, I took a mouthful of gas, just to, you know what I mean, to see if it would work. But I'm gonna visually inspect this guy as well. Maybe it doesn't have one here, please. So yeah, there's absolutely nothing wrong with that filter. Kind of reminds me of one light filter with the piece that you can remove. So filter's fine, that's fine, this is fine, everything's fine. Let's put a big gas in there. So the only thing left now is to go give her a go. Okay, so we are back because this does not want to stay running. It's definitely a fuel issue, like, I just don't get it though. I really don't.
anyone has any suggestions, I'd greatly appreciate it because this thing's going to drive me insane. Anyways, I'm going to cut the video off now. I've had enough fun for today. See you guys later.